Hey guys, today we're going to be making a miniature box of pastels which do work. I do want to say that if you're making them as tiny as the ones I made, they're not the most sturdy things in the world, but I am going to get back to that in the video and talk about how you cannot prevent it, but kind of help this issue. I first rolled out a sheet of pommel clay and just cut out the size of the pastel stick I wanted, then baked that and used it to make a mold. And if you want some more information about the mold parties I use, you can check out my FAQ, which I always link in the info box, or you can check out my room tour. I also used my blade to cut a slit in the mold, and this is just going to allow you to take out the pastels a bit more easily. Next, you're going to need some pastels. I used soft pastels, and I tried this technique both with Faber Castell as well as my Rembrandt pastels. I'm also going to get back to this in a bit. So what you want to do is just simply take your pastel and grate it. I just used my exacto knife. You then want to mix it with a tiny bit of water to create a paste. Now fill up your mold and press it in really well. It should dry in just a few minutes and once they're completely dry you can take them out. To make the box you just want to take some good quality paper, I used some mixed media paper and I then used my watercolor pencils, some watercolors from pens as well as some white gouache just for highlights. Okay, so back to the whole not being so sturdy thing. If you choose to make the pastels this tiny and this skinny, they are going to be pretty fragile. Soft pastels in general and in real life are not the most sturdy thing. You can also get other types of pastels which are called hard pastels or chalk pastels and these are going to be more sturdy. However, I'm not sure if they're going to work the same for this technique as I haven't tried it. Also, depending on the brand you use, it may or may not turn out as good. As I mentioned, I tried doing this with my Faber Castell as well as my Rembrandt soft pastels. However, I wouldn't try doing this with my Sennelier pastels, which are really high end, just because those are made without any binders and they are going to be a lot more fragile. Something else you can do to make them a bit more sturdy or at least hold them together a bit better is to add a binder. And there are different types of binders you can use. I've heard of people using honey and other things they have at home, but I try not to use any edible stuff in my miniatures. And I know you can also get some gum product that is meant for using as a binder when making pastels, but that gets a bit expensive, especially if you're just going to be making a miniature version. I know you can find recipes for soft pastels if you make a search on Google, so you'll probably be able to find more suggestions for different binders as well. I also tried making a few of these, adding just a tiny bit of white glue to the water mixture, and this is going to make the pastels a lot more sturdy, however, they are also going to be a lot less pigmented. The way I think would be the best to add a bit more strength to them is by adding a paper wrapper, just like we did with the crayon video. Of course, you can make them larger and thicker, but for me, that's not an option since I'm working in 1 to 12 scale. Once you're done, you can cut it out and glue it together.
For the inside of the box, I took this self-adhering craft foam. And I didn't have one that was completely black, so I'm just going to paint it later. I then cut some thin strips and added these to make the small compartments. Then all you have to do is arrange the pastels and you're done. As I mentioned in my watercolor video, I like kind of messy looking art supplies and to make it a bit more realistic, I broke some of them in half and removed half from some of the compartments just to make it look like you've actually been using them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.